Hi everyone, it's F Sketch Fashion Drawing Tutorials and this is one more tutorial dedicated to a snake pattern texture. There is a, another tutorial connected to this one, so check it out as well. In this lesson we are going to render a jacket with a snake pattern, a bag with a snake texture as well, and a leather boots. So, and in the end you'll get a sketch like this. If you need template, you can download printable template for this sketch from fsketcher.com. The link is in the upper right corner. So let's start. The link for the download will lead you to more comprehensive tutorial on the website. So there I also explain how to draw this closing on a croquis. So if you want to draw your own model, you can can be useful for you. So right now I'm drawing the pattern using just a regular ballpoint pen and uh, it's better to use just simple pen. Uh, and I'm drawing the shapes, they look like uh, the pancakes with a bad shape or an islands and as you can see I'm not really closing it. The outline is very irregular, sometimes just a couple of dots, sometimes I draw one side and do not close the shape. Then I'm using Cool Gray 3 and as you can see since it's just a simple pen it's smudging a little bit and I like it because it works for the snake uh, pattern. And then uh, very carefully I'm just coloring the center. And with white pencil, I'm just smudging everything down. But you know, it actually makes this effect, so don't worry about it. I added some shadows with black pencil under her collar, like lapel. And now using white ink pen, I just made uh, show the zipper. Added some shadows. Uh, between her bodies and her sleeves. I used Ice Gray 3 for her trousers and now I'm using again Ice Gray 3. As you can see, when you just draw with markers on the top of the same color, it just becomes darker. And pay attention to those wrinkles on her trousers uh, near her crotch. It's just like a palm tree, slightly looks like a palm tree. So I'm doing the same things for your other side. That smudging thing with white pencil, it really differentiates this pattern from like cheetah or leopard pattern, anything like that. And the shapes are important too, so they are bigger than for cheetah print. So now I'm using Cool Gray 5, now Cool Gray 1, I'm using a bit lighter gray for this side. So here you'll see in more details. So now I'm using white pencil and you can see how the pen uh, just, you know, smudges over the paper. And that's what I want. Now I'm using white pencil to color between those shapes. So I just reduce that effect slightly. So it's not, so it doesn't look dirty. So now I'm using black pencil, adding shadows again between the bodies and sleeves, under the lapel, showing that mm, zipper part. And with white ink pen, I'm adding the white dots to give it this reptile texture look. So again, I want a more contrast for your trousers. And I used Ice Gray 1 for your shirt. So actually Ice Gray looks really good for a white cotton. Now I'm using Pen Touch White to make a bigger dot. You can use correction pen as well. So depends on what you have at your disposal. Okay, so here back. 
first I'm using satin marker. So here we have several colors. Next, tan. And here I use satin as well. So now we're going to have a pattern that is very similar to one that we drew in other tutorial uh, where we rented Belmont design for spring 2017. So it's like more diamond shapes. Under the video you'll find a link to the broader tutorial for this class on the website. There are exercises that will help you draw different types of snake patterns. So right now I'm using brown and black pencils to fill in those diamond shapes. Now I'm drawing small rectangular cells with really sharp brown pencil and small, small circles of different sizes. Just added some black pencil. And then just adding some tan on that lower patch showing some fur with white ink pen, adding shadows with cool gray one. So now for the shoes, first I'm using black color. Leave some area, especially in the center. Just uh, uncolor it, we will use uh, lighter tones, grays for that. So I didn't color the sides as well. So I'm using now cool gray five to color the sides. I'm just leaving really tiny stripes that I just colored with cool gray one. So some details, uh, you can color them with a fine liner. And with white ink pen, I added more shine. So we are done with this tutorial. Just the last strokes, I hope you enjoyed it. Check out the first part with Balmond Design as well. Subscribe to our Sketcher channel for more tutorials, share your questions and suggestions in the comment section below. Like our Sketcher on Facebook, follow on Instagram and Pinterest, and see you next tutorial.